I mean, once we turn this on, we're doing illegal stuff. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> once we turn it on, we're breaking the law, doing crimes with a lawyer. Yeah. We bought a bunch of very illegal car accessories on the internet, and today we are gonna put them on our car. And to find out just how illegal they are, we are joined by an actual lawyer. I'm a real lawyer, and I play one on TV. Also, freaking Jeremiah's here, whatever. <laughs> I'm James, and this is the D -D 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 Thank you, Sharks, for joining me today. Now, there are two things you need to go fast, big power and lightweight. I've spent hours of research and development to bring you this. All right, so our first product is a classic C435 radar slash laser detector and scrambler. New systems makes your car invisible to police radar and laser. That sounds very illegal to me. So one thing that people don't understand is that uh, the police don't necessarily need to use a, a radar gun to clock you. Mm. And so even if a radar jammer made you invisible to radar, it doesn't make you invisible to the naked eye. So they could still actually clock you as going past the speed limit. The Rocky Mountain radar scramblers are not legal in Texas, Colorado, Utah, California, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Minnesota, Illinois, Tennessee, South Carolina, unless the switchable scrambler feature is off. Okay. So it is clearly sending signals out, <laughs> unless you turn that off. Yeah, if you turn it off, it's perfectly legal. I mean, once we turn this on, we're doing illegal stuff. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> once we turn it on, we're breaking the law, doing crimes with a lawyer. Yeah, this one. I'm sorry, I have an ethical obligation to turn you guys in. <laughs> You're like a mob lawyer. You're dirty. <laughs> So we have a radar gun right here. We're gonna test it at the table. Uh, Devin's gonna point the gun uh, at the radar detector, therefore implicating him in this crime. Uh, and we're gonna see what happens. This is purely for science. <laughs> so it detects. It detects, yes. Uh, I mean, it says you're going 41 miles an hour. Um, oh, really? So that's kind of doing the opposite of what we want. Uh, yeah, it's giving you higher speeds. Yeah, we want lower speeds. Just get putting, adding points to your license <laughs> for 200 bucks. I mean, we, we have a product liability issue here that this is, apart from whether it's legal or not, it's supposed to operate in a way that prevents you from getting a speeding ticket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it amplifies the speeding ticket and says you're actually going three times the speed that you're actually going, I might want to sue the manufacturer. So Devin, if we were to use the Rocky Mountain and Radar Scrambler in Texas, Colorado, Utah, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Minnesota, Illinois, Tennessee, South Carolina, or the state we are currently in that we just used it in, California, what kind of punishment are we looking at? Uh, you know, it depends on the jurisdiction, but it's gonna be at least a multi-hundred dollar fine. If you pair that with like reckless driving in Virginia, you're looking at actual jail time. It might uh, increase the, the, the uh, time you spend in jail. Uh, it's definitely going to cost you a lot more for the fees and penalties than it is to pay for this scrambler, not a transmitter thing. All right, our next product is uh, build your own universal vacuum actuated exhaust cutout kit. So this is an exhaust cutout. It allows you to, at the push of a button, open up your exhaust, bypassing the catalytic converters and the mufflers. I assume this is breaking a number of laws, especially in California. Yes. I think emissions laws, but also we have pretty strict noise ordinances here. So I think it's something over, what is it? Uh, Four decibels or something? Is it, is it that much? Yeah. Maybe like I a, think it's lower than like that. Like 97 decibels. 97, something like that, 98 maybe. So if you install this in a car, before this actuator is activated, it goes to the muffler. Mm -hmm. And you're specifically trying to bypass that and go out through a straight pipe. Mm -hmm. So like this is the poster child for knowing <laughs> that something is illegal and doing it anyway. Yeah, but it looks cool as hell. Yeah, it looks cool. It's, but you know, sounds no, cool. You, sounds cool. It's yeah, under it your cool. car. You can't see it. Yeah, I see it. And I don't want to rat anybody out, but um, Nolan has it on his car. Uh, he works in <laughs> and lives in 
So if any cops out there want to bust Nolan, <laughs> yeah, black can you, can Mustang. Can you give Nolan my card? Because uh, yeah. I, I can represent him. He will have to sign a retainer. Uh, but yeah, I, I can I can represent him on that. And just to prove that Nolan is breaking the law, <laughs> let's go ahead and check it out on his car right now. All right, so we are standing next to Nolan's Mustang. It has the exact same exhaust cutout. Uh, that we just looked at at the table. First, we're gonna see what it sounds like with the valve closed, i.e. stock exhaust. Then he's gonna open it up and we're gonna see how loud and illegal it is. Nolan, fire her up. All right, okay. sounds normal. Yeah, give her a couple revs. Sounds like a Mustang. All right, Nolan, open it up. That's already louder. Yeah, that's idling much louder. <laughs> Couple revs. It's so quiet. Yeah, you can barely hear it. All right, now that is definitely illegal, and I'm calling the cops. You're a menace. You're a menace. So what if you have this on your car, but you don't have it actuated, and the police somehow look underneath there for some reason. Like, could you get in trouble even if it isn't open? So the exact law in California mm -hmm. says that if you install it, mm -hmm. it's automatically a violation. It says, every motor vehicle mm -hmm. subject to registration shall at all times be equipped with an adequate muffler in constant operation mm -hmm. and properly maintained to prevent any excessive or unusual noise. And here's the important part. And no muffler or exhaust system shall be equipped with a cutout bypass or similar device. So simply equipping the device is enough to land you in trouble. So Nolan's definitely breaking the law. <laughs> I, I will knock this down from a penalty to simply life in prison. <laughs> Masterson's car care, dank marijuana scented air freshener. What the heck? Masterson's dank marijuana scented air freshener delivers a fresh cannabis scent, exclamation <laughs> point. Oh, that is awful. Okay, I, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> Oh, dude. Uh, I mean, not that I would have any experience with this, but this does not smell like marijuana. I made my eyes water. It smells like a rotten lemon is what it smells like. Mm, yes. It's got that, that real nice bouquet of, of <laughs> lemon that has been left in your car for like two years. That's very accurate. So this is the Little Trees Wild Hemp uh, flavor. No, this one just smells like my dad. It doesn't smell like weed though. No, I, this does smell like everyone's dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, this smells like an outdoorsman. So let's make this car smell like weed. Yeah, it smells like your dad. Yeah, it just smells like your dad or an uncle. Doesn't smell like weed. This other one smells so bad, I'm not gonna spray it in this tight space, but this doesn't feel illegal. Back to the desk. So let's say that this did actually smell like marijuana. Could the police use that scent as a reason to search your car? If, if there was this smell coming out and someone stopped your car to pull you over for some vehicle infraction, mm -hmm. then it might give probable cause to be able to assume that you're under the influence of drugs. Such a backward logic for weed smokers. Like, like if yeah. I had a if I had a little tree that smelled like vodka, <laughs> yeah. right. like why would I want that? That's like just setting me up to get a DUI. Yeah, yeah this tree. No man. <laughs> It's a little tree. It's air freshener, man. It's a little tree, dude. <laughs> Smell how dank this is. So, so here's my, my problem with it. This is not dank. No. At all. It, I mean, this is false advertising. Dank marijuana scented air freshener. I guess it's air freshener. I wouldn't call it marijuana scented or dank. All right, so Masterson's dank marijuana scented air freshener. A crime to your senses. Mm -hmm. But not a real crime. Devin is actually releasing a video about illegal car products on his channel today. So click the link in the description below to check that out. We'll also link at the end of this video. Okay, so this one seems illegal if you use it. Okay, so this next thing is a kit to wrap your license plate. So it only costs 25 bucks to get a black plate in mm -hmm. California. This product costs $20, mm -hmm. but the black plate is an annual fee. This is right. once in a lifetime. Yeah, you. one time done, one and, and, done. and you feel good by being bad. You have actually wrapped this in carbon fiber. Oh. Because <laughs> who doesn't want a license plate <laughs> made of a weight car. saving <laughs> fake carbon fiber. I assume that it is illegal to modify a license plate at all. Uh, it depends, really? actually. Yeah, so in some places it is illegal, but the, the majority of jurisdictions say that you can 
wrap a, a license plate so long as you're not obstructing the numbers and, and identifications. And of course, you have to still display the registration tags, uh, at least in California, which are supposed to be on the license plate itself. Mm -hmm. So you might drive in a place where you can do it, but you then might drive to another place where you can't. So theoretically, if you do enter into a jurisdiction that doesn't allow you to wrap your plate, you're looking at a fine, and uh, it's probably not gonna be too much more than that. But if uh, you are trying to obstruct the police from actually seeing your license plate, then you run into much bigger problems than that. Our next product is a two pieces USA standard shutter cover up electric license plate. It's a license plate hider <laughs> with a remote on it. And it costs 73 GP, GBP. So the last time we did a video on illegal car products, we had a license plate flipper. So you had two license plates and you could change them out. This one is just a cover. So I'm already skeptical of the legality of this because <laughs> it's called an obstructor. <laughs> All right, so we have our license plate in our frame. Ready? I just committed a crime. <laughs> oh no, it's the fuzz. So we have installed our license plate cover up on the money pit Miata. We're with our lawyer. Let's commit some crimes. I mean, it, it's incredibly illegal, but it's cool as hell. <laughs> it's so cool. A lot of stuff that is cool is illegal. Oh, I'm in a rush. I'm gonna run this red light. Yeah. Ah, see, it has, a, it has a control, so you can't do it in an illegal circumstance. <laughs> that is definitely illegal, and I love it. <laughs> So, so let me just see if I can try and come up with a valid reason for this. You can imagine that maybe you had a parked car uh -huh. and you wanted to protect the cleanliness of your license plate. You know, yeah. right? Because I do. hate a dirty plate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where this falls is that um, even if you cover up your car, the police still need to be able to access the license plate. So mm -hmm. they, they generally can lift up the car to, to see which plate is there. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is gonna be <laughs> able to facilitate the police looking at your, your yeah. license plate. 100% illegal on that one. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a lot of effort to- uh, It's a lot of effort. Evade the police terribly. Super cute though. <laughs> I would think a magician would love this. Yeah. <laughs> now for our last product, it's a sticker that says, I eat <laughs> that's, that's good information to know. <laughs> um, the reason we have this is because there's a story out of Florida uh, where a guy had a sticker that said, I eat on it and he got in like a lot of trouble. It's he, true. But refused to take it off. That, that is a real story. Uh, it made the rounds because of the First Amendment implication. He was charged with obscenity, and he was also charged with uh, resisting the officer ref to, for refusing to take the bumper sticker off the truck. So this story has a couple of different conclusions. Mm -hmm. The first is that when the district attorney saw the charges, he immediately dropped them. Okay. And this guy, this, he was arrested. He has a mugshot. Uh -huh. Hopefully we can get an insert of that. Like, he's smiling like a guy who knows he's been <laughs> falsely arrested. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Charges. He got arrested. They he got took arrested. him in, booked him. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, but I believe he then sued the officer for false arrest. The problem with that is that the court said that the officer didn't have reasonable notice that uh, it was unconstitutional to pull this guy over and he was exercising his discretion. And so this police officer was entitled to qualified immunity and therefore the suit got dismissed. So the police officer said that he was unaware of the first amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So the, there, there are still obscenity laws. Okay. It, it is a, an exception to the first amendment to utter something that is obscene. And there are a bunch of different tests for whether something is obscene. It must lack artistic, political, and scientific value. So if you can come up with something that meets all those criteria, theoretically, the first amendment doesn't protect it. This is science, dude. <laughs> but like, that seems like such a slippery slope to me. Community standards, like, yeah. like what is, how does that define? You, you are preaching to the choir. It's absolutely a slippery slope. And there aren't that many obscenity prosecutions anymore mm -hmm. for exactly those reasons. And also, community standards have changed a lot since that test came out in the 1970s. Right. This was in Florida. I've been to Florida. <laughs> this is not against the community standards of Florida. No, dude. As someone from Florida, this is like, this is like lowest level stuff. Dude, I, dude, this is standard <laughs> afternoon fair in Florida. Bottom line, while this person was arrested for displaying this bumper sticker, I think that the law is unconstitutional and theoretically speaking at least, I don't think this bumper sticker is illegal in any way. All right, you heard it here. 
guys, you can put a sticker on your car that says, I eat whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Devin from Legal Eagle, thank you so much for being here. You're releasing a video on illegal car products today as well. Yep. Uh, we'll put the link right here, probably, or over here, and in the description below. Anything else you want to tell the good people? Just because you can do something to your car doesn't mean you should do that thing to your car. Yeah, and that speaks like not just for legal stuff, but like performance stuff too. <laughs> Honestly, don't modify your car. <laughs> You'll regret it. Yeah, stock is best. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, helps us in the algo. I love you.